This is Matt Walsh with your Minute with the Mayor for Tuesday morning, March 31st, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the disease so hopefully people can understand uh, where it comes from and, and why it spreads so rapidly. We've, you've heard about antibodies fighting the disease. Antibodies are Y-shaped proteins that are produced by the immune system to help stop intruders from harming the body. When an intruder enters the body, the immune system springs into action. These invaders, which are called antigens, can be viruses, bacteria, or other chemicals. When an antigen is found in the body, the immune system will create antibodies to mark the antigen for the body to destroy. Antibodies act sort of like the immune system scouts. They find the antigens, they stick to them, and they identify for the immune system the exact type of antigen so it can be destroyed. Each antibody is made for one and only one antigen, and it's fitted with special receptors that will only bind to that particular antigen. For instance, a specific antibody is created to destroy the chickenpox virus. Only that particular antibody will attack the chickenpox virus. Since COVID-19 is a new virus strain, humanity hadn't yet developed antibodies to fight the coronavirus antigen. Researchers don't fully understand why the coronavirus is so effective in spreading, though they have some ideas. One is that the surface proteins, which enable the virus to stick to the host cells and invade them, attach with especially long latches or barbs. How does community spread occur? When someone sneezes or coughs, they release particles of the virus into the air, where the virus germs then either settle directly on you or directly onto a hard surface that potentially you could touch and infect your hands. Or the infected host could infect you by touching you with their hands or touching a surface that you potentially could touch and infect your hands. The virus enters the body through your nose, your mouth, or through the capillaries in your eyes. The measurement of a virus ability to spread from one person to another is called RO or r not. The higher the value, the greater the contagiousness. Though it varies by region and setting, the novel coronavirus RO is roughly 2.2, meaning one infected person on average spreads it to 2.2 people. In comparison, the seasonal flu has an RO of about 1.3. Scientific data seems to indicate that the coronavirus is six times more deadly than the flu virus. So it spreads faster and it's more deadly. So once again, we encourage you to regularly wash your hands, wash them too often, practice social distancing, clean surfaces where germs may be spread, including countertops, hand railings, door handles, and toilet handles. Uh, that's your Minute with the Mayor for Tuesday, and we'll be back tomorrow.